OU is number four in 24 sevens post spring football rankings. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. Any, anybody, anything to, to add on that? I mean, like whatever. Okay. OSU, by the way, coming in at number 20 on those rankings. I'm very surprised, but also shout out to any outlet for calling it like it is and not throwing the pity party for OU. No. You know, sure. the, the yeah. way that it's like, well, their coach left them, so they're going to be 22 or unranked on some boards. And it's like, that's not realistic. Dude, it, 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 I like that we're number four. We would have been number four had all the things happened or not. Right. Yeah. Because when we got in front of them, we got Georgia, Bama, and Ohio, Ohio right. State. So, Those like, teams are... by the way, right behind OU at number five is Baylor. Yeah. That's kind of wild. Yeah. That's weird. That, that's uh, that's impressive. Also contradicts their other articles, but okay. I love David that. Rand is a good coach. David Rand is, man. He's going to be kicking ass at Ole Miss in a few years. Uh, sooner, uh, I'm looking at USA Today now. Uh, OU comes in in – where was I looking at? There you go. OU's number, number four. four in the transfer portal rankings. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Oh, no, I just – I was looking at it. So oh, okay, I... yeah. O, OU's number four in the transfer portal, rate, transfer portal rankings. Uh, number 10 – number 10 is Miami, 9 TCU, 8 Texas, 7 South Carolina. Shout out Beamer. Six UCLA, Alabama at five, OU four, LSU three, Ole Miss two, USC one. That's where those it's, rankings are. Yeah, it's so crazy to me that USC was just allowed to do this. It's just <laughs> like I'm looking at them at number one. I'm looking at it and just like, dude, hold on, what? That's crazy. Wild. It's. It's crazy. I also, I mean, man, we crushed it in the transfer portal. We really and did. This is before adding JJ, a former four-star receiver. Yeah. So he is selling a vision that people are buying. I love it. Also, three Big 12 schools in the top 10. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, the Big, Big 12 is capitalizing on the transfer portal stuff. I don't really know how OSU did. Um, I'm very curious – when the season rolls around to like, just see what OSU's team looks like. I don't know enough about them to, to know right now. And granted they've had tons of roster turnover, but I I'd be excited to see what OSU looks like because what we just talked about with those, you know, preseason or, you know, early big 12 rankings or whatever odds. I think, I think OSU being a three is kind of, kind of whack. I think they have, they should, they definitely showed more than Texas and they still have shown more than Texas. I think they should have been the second favorite, but that's just me. Yeah, we'll say I'm more curious about how the transfer portal will be for OU moving forward because it seems like a lot from what BV has said that he wants to get his recruits in there, keep them for a couple of years, you know, grow them into what he's looking for out of a player. So I think this is really his emphasis this year coming in, bringing get more guys in. I just wonder how he'll actually utilize the portal in the future. But it's obviously good to see because we needed to bring in some talent yeah. from a uh, lot what we lost this year or this offseason. I like seeing the flexibility out of him because I was mm-hmm. concerned early that he would avoid the portal like Dabo does. And it's good to see he's open yeah. to it. Yeah, you can't, it seems you like can't he, do that now. seems like he more wants to avoid it, but if he's not able to, he's going to utilize it. I th- right. I think the more we see of Brent, the more stuff you see how he is obviously like Dabo, but he's a little more – he can bend mm-hmm. Dabo's, like, frame a little bit more. Like, the it's not just black and white. Like, Venables has a little bit of gray area to him. Um, and I think that that's going to help in the long run. 